Another big story that we're following right now, a big push to reform policing at the city of Phoenix. Today, city management proposed the first details of what may be to come, including more 911 dispatchers and millions of dollars towards mental health response. This has been an ongoing issue in Phoenix. Team 12's Joe Dana explains why it appears the city is hoping to reform policing without defunding police. The debate has been, can you fundamentally reform policing without defunding essential police services? Well, the city of Phoenix clearly believes they can do both, and they have a lot of money to work with. A budget surplus of $153 million is allowing city leaders to think big about police reform. As mentioned, the current proposal includes 18 new 911 dispatchers, raises for officers and police leadership, new funding for paramedics, and $15 million towards civilian positions to help the police department city's crisis response team, which is meant to de-escalate situations with the mentally ill and drug-dependent civilians. This really is exciting and meets the needs of our community. We've been seeing an increasing number of calls to 911 for behavioral health related reasons. We know that we needed to adapt city services and make a big investment. As we've reported between 2019 and 2020, Phoenix police saw a 142% increase in calls diverted to the crisis response team. It amounts to close to 400 calls a month. These are situations that have the potential to become violent because someone is experiencing a mental health crisis or drug episode. Phoenix police tell us the epiphany of law enforcement over the years has been decriminalizing the disease of mental illness and approaching these situations differently than a typical crime suspect. That's the goal. There will be more than a dozen public meetings over the next month about these budget proposals and others. The city finds itself flush with cash. Another $400 million will begin flowing to the city after the recently signed American Rescue Plan. It was clear from today's discussion that police reform is at the top of priorities. Joe Dana, 12 News.